Right. Hello, my name is Gail Stewart, and today I'll be talking to you about Black Cat Hackers in the city of Miami. The general purpose of this speech is to inform people on why Black Cat Hackers are important. We should take this topic seriously because Black Cat Hacking is a trending topic, and as we in uh, as over the years we are going to be more technology based and this is going to give black hat hackers more leeway to access our information that we won't want nobody else having easier so this is something that people really need to listen and be informed on so have you ever been attacked by a black hat hacker if you're not sure then this speech will help you understand why and what it is. So, what is a black hat hacker? A black hat hacker is a criminal who uses the network and gains your network and gains access with malicious intent. So, what I mean by malicious intent is bad intentions basically. So, they are going into your hacking into your computer system and stealing your personal information that you don't want nobody else having, such as your credit cards, your social security, your mortgage payment, act information, your basically your identity in reality. And this is everything you work hard for and everything you try to protect all your life. And them gaining access to it so easily through a simple browser or network is very heartbreaking. So I hope you guys are listening up and read, listening to this information. Um, why should we take this topic so seriously? We should take this topic so seriously because because black hat hacking is becoming a major factor in the community and the more and more over the years we advance in technology, people are becoming more aware and oblivious to it. But these it's ways that it goes undetected. Black hat hackers sometimes working organizations, which helps them process and hack more people within a day and more faster. Sometimes they use call centers, such as like disguising themselves as big brand technology companies such as Microsoft, Dell, or Sony. And they will send links to your phone saying, oh, you want a thousand dollars or $5,000 or saying, hey, we don't call back on your computer. We need access to it to update the browser or update the app or anything that doesn't seem, seem that seems suspicious and happens to you. Um, another thing is when you click that link, it gives them automatic access to your browser, your information, everything that you, your, that's personal to you. That gives them information, access to it, and that's the easiest way for them to hack you and most people don't know about it they just click it like older people they don't really know about it they just click it and then try to see what it is and then it crashes but they when it crashes they gain access without you knowing so then you won't even detect your personal information being leaked or leaked or them stealing money from your bank account or in, um, exposing you or exposing your personal pictures or something <clears throat> Um, usually black hat hackers go undetected because they scatter their servers across the world. So they could be in Miami Gardens hacking you, but the police will see them, like for the police to show up in Australia. And this is why they're so hard to detect. And another reason is because they're on the dark web. And the dark web is so hard to access because you have to go through so many software downloads and you gotta buy this type of device and all that. It's a very expensive setup. And they go through a lot of work and it's very expensive. But right here now is basically statistics of black hat hacking and the different different categories that is occurring so the highest category is identity theft 
and with identity theft, uh, people that's basically like fraud and scamming throughout through online and stealing information, personal information. Uh, right now, it's a trend, a big trend right now, especially why everybody's in um, quarantine and everything, or dealing with a pandemic. Uh, more and more people are becoming hacked or their personal information is being stolen due to the, the increase the increased usage of the internet and them putting that personal information online and not having protected servers and you know not looking not knowing where the lock icon is on the browser or the search bar and this basically shows that how that is the highest category and that how the United States has lost almost over $110 million just because, just from cyber attacks and black hat hacking. And this is another chart showing how um, the different categories of black hat hacking, credit card theft, um, cookie theft, or business corporation um, bankruptcy. This is different numbers and percentages for that. And this is just more visuals showing that diff three different black hat hacking, white bread, and all that other stuff. And thank you for watching my video. And I hope you enjoyed. I hope you feel very informed and you understand why we take this topic very seriously. And hopefully you can pass information down to the next student and educate others and help prevent the world from enduring this tragedy. Thank you for watching my video. Have a great day.